Hey guys, so we are back from Florida. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but that means we get to go through the suitcases and we get to show you some of the stuff that we brought home with us, which was quite a lot. We did manage to get it all into our cases. Just, I mean, if it's just up in the home suitcases, it wasn't a pretty sight. Um, first of all, we thought we would have a cup of tea. Share a cup of tea with you all. You give a cheer. <laughs> you might see these cups throughout this, because this could take a while. This is mine. Honest, mine. 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 And uh, I got this in Disney. That is his. So with David's mug, we actually got on the cruise, but I saw them in a couple of shops in Disney as well. Basically, there's no order to this whatsoever. Um, it's just whichever order we pick it up off of the floor, because it's all scattered. And um, there's a mixture of Disney stuff, Universal stuff, poking devices, uh, stuff that we got in Walmart, and generally random things that we picked up. So, I'll let David get back to what he was going to poke me with. Thanks. Um, Trungeon. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's believable. We were in America. It's an umbrella. It is. But obviously it's he's not going to put it up in the house or he would get into a lot of trouble. But we can show you what's on it. It's black with that logo on it. Yeah. Because Florida. That is all. Okay. So I went to Walmart. And I got lots of things in Walmart. And one of my favourite things to get from Walmart, and I did this the last time I went, and I will do it every single time I go because they're so good, is pyjamas. Even though it's the same as Asda. It's not. They have nicer things. It's still George. <laughs> well, these are nice Halloween pyjamas. I'll show you the print on them. With spiders. And I, got, I had to get these ones. These have got Halloween weenie dogs on them. <laughs> These were about ten, ten dollars a pair, and they're so soft. They're really nice. I also got a third pair of pajamas. That's the bottom print, and that is the top. And it's Christmas pajamas. I know I'm early, but I wanted Christmas pajamas. So there. Yeah. Probably number two. And that is the design that's on the poly itself as well. Yeah. We actually got that one in Walmart. I like Walmart. Um, but we saw that kind of print in a few different places. We saw lots of things in Walmart as well. And it really was that way. It doesn't look it in a lot of the videos, but that's because we didn't have the camera out it was raining. But it rained quite a bit. So something else that I got in Walmart and I just loved it and wanted it, is this flask. It is a flask with Mickey head print and it's insulated and it's on a carabiner clip. I don't know how much it was. There's not a price on it and it's too long ago now. But I also don't know uh, when I'm gonna use it, but I liked it, so I bought it, as you do. Waterproof pouch. <laughs> yep. It, it is what it says it is. It's a waterproof pouch. From Volcano Bay. Uh, it wasn't until we got to Volcano Bay that we really needed one of those things just to carry some cash about so we could get some soft drinks and things. And it also has a carabiner clip. We like carabiner clips. Um, Really sensible people would have taken it with us because we have them in the house, but we're not and we didn't. So then. My next thing I'm going to show you is a t-shirt. It's a rock and roller coaster t-shirt and this is David's. 
and he got it in the Disney character warehouse. I have no idea how much it was because I can't remember. So we got this on day one. It's one of our fridge magnets. We got a few, we collect them. So while we were in the character warehouse, I got a top as well that was not Florida clothing, but I probably will wear it at home. And it looks like this. And it has long sleeves. It actually has a split at the back, which is quite interesting. Um, it splits up there at the back. And this one's still got the price tag on it because I haven't worn it. It was twelve ninety nine. So not bad. So I also um, had some pretty, pretty intense prickly heat slash heat rash slash Disney rash, whatever you want to call it, for probably the first week out. It was quite bad, and I just wanted to be comfortable. And I was also very conscious of how bad it looked. So we went to Walmart again. Funnily enough, this was not hardship for me. And I got lots of pairs of leggings to wear. There is another pair that's in the washing machine. And these ones have got Halloween print. So we'll have these ones. I like these ones very much. I don't really wear leggings at home though, so I'm not sure. I'll probably wear them in the house rather than out in public. But they were comfortable and they're what my legs needed. So these were um, sort of $5 each for a pair. I was going to just buy some at Disney and I checked the Disney Shops app to see how much it would be and it was $40 for one pair of leggings. So yeah, we went to Walmart. Definitely. And there's a pair of loungy trousers for me as well. Bought out of the character warehouse. And these ones have still got the price tag on and these were $14.99. And he can wear them at Christmas or Halloween. Or any day of the year because every day is Halloween in this house. Especially with the shall we? Shelby. Okay, this one's more of a Salem. If you're not familiar with our cats, that's the black one. Ah, uh, I like this one. Again, from Walmart, and it was five ninety eight. Honestly, if you haven't been to Walmart, go and look at their Halloween kind of t-shirts because they've got a lot. But I like this one because it's got a black cat, and we have a black cat called Salem. So. I will probably be wearing this in the next couple of weeks. You might see it in some videos. Eventually, when I get around to editing and sorting all the videos. We also, uh, spoiler alert, went to Bubba Gump's and <laughs> um, Dave got that t-shirt which he wore home on the plane. Yeah, we might have come back with a little bit more than we needed to from Bubba Gumps. I don't really know why. All of a sudden we were like, let's buy half the shop. Another one, very similar colour actually. This was a Disney Cruise Line t-shirt. And this is what's on the back of it. Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Big crab. Uh, that we got from the Disney Character Warehouse and obviously we got this because we were going on the cruise. We actually went to the the shop, the, the warehouse shop, the day before we got on the cruise. We managed to sneak that in so we could buy some stuff before we went and I was right, they did have cruise line stuff. Although I think that was all we got. This is my t-shirt that I got at Universal. It's got the monsters on it. This is a black light... <laughs> this is a black light reactive shirt. And because we were doing so much shopping, you can't do shopping without a shopping bag. And also it's pretty. I like the print on it. Uh, I don't actually think I used it because I wanted to keep it good. And the ticket doesn't have a price on it. I was going to tell you how much it was. I think it was about $5. I might be wrong. It's a cooler bag from the Disney Cruise Line. I don't know if you can see the logo there. And there. And there. 
and we got it when we got off the boat at Castaway Key. Although they were selling it throughout the cruise, so we could have bought it at any point throughout the cruise. And it came with full of six bottles of water. Mm -hmm. When we bought it, they put ice in it and six bottles of water. Mm -hmm. And I, what was it? Twenty-one dollars? Yep. Something like I think that. So. And it was really handy actually to have some cool water at Castaway Something else for a Dave was these. Wranglers. Mm. You like Wranglers, don't you? Mm hmm And so we picked up these ones in Walmart, believe it or not. These were about $16, so they're actually a really good um, deal over there. We bought some the last time we went and... And I'm actually wearing them just now. Oh, you're wearing them. <laughs> and I think we'll probably buy uh, Wranglers for Dave every time we go. We'll start a collection. Because for that kind of price, and they are, I think, your favourite jeans. So. They're quite comfy. Yeah. I bought a packet of Disney pens with this print. These were <laughs> $17 for six pens. Crikey. Oops. But they're pretty and um, they're black ink and um, seventeen pretty <laughs> and yeah, I think I was just getting carried away with myself at that point in time because I could have bought a pack that size of nice-ish pens for, for like five dollars or That's more. basically about ten pounds for six pens. But it was Disney World. <laughs> I don't usually do things like that, like buy expensive pens, I don't know what... Oh, yeah, I, I don't usually buy expensive things, $15 for a dog collar. But we bought the dogs Disney collars. Because they were needing new collars. It was time um, to get them new collars. And look at the one I got, Shelby. Yes, you heard your name. It has a little mini bowl. And they're pretty. Um, they're breakaway collars. So they can't get stuck on things and Shelby gets stuck on things a lot. So she's sitting looking at me because I've said her name now. I'm going to have to pop this on her. Hopefully they fit them. It's very difficult to guess collar sizes when you've not got them with you. I will maybe put in a picture of the dogs with their new collars because they are just running about like lunatics just now. Shelby thinks that she's going for a four letter word, which I mean W-A-L-K, because we just put collars on her, so she needs to sit quietly and not run about my feet so much. <laughs> Hello, drummer. Um, it kind of blends in with drummer. You can't really see it. Oh, come here then, demon. Come, demon. Come. Come and show the nice viewers. What your collar looks like on you. Look at look at the bow. She's got a bow now. She's a pretty girl, aren't you? But I'm afraid I'm not taking you out just now because we're doing a haul video. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are, but now you're going to have to lay down. Yes, right. On you. Right, down. Earthquake. <laughs> Shelby quake. <break>. No. <laughs> down. So speaking of things for the dogs, we also picked up a new dog water bowl it's just a little tiny one because we'll use it mainly in the caravan i think which we really needed a new water bowl for they have um disney dog bowls already but not as nice as this one so this one is for the caravan i picked this up in the resort shop if it's going to show you and it's a fancy foot cream It's a fancy foot cream that I bought because I was running low on my other foot cream that I like to take on holiday. It smells very nice. I've started stacking things up around the camera so I'm not going to be able to move the camera soon. I got a pork. Hello. I am the pork. What noise do porgs make? No idea. Shelby! Shelby. <laughs> I guess that's the noise that porgs make then. <laughs> she, she sees it and wants to eat it and she's not having it, but look at its feet. It's got cute little feet. This is my pork. I don't know where he's going. 
and I can't remember how much it was and the price ticket doesn't, oh it does, 17 17 dollars for my pork now a little story I heard about the porgsies with the Star Wars I don't know if it's true or not is that the reason there's porgs in the movie is because the island they're on is covered in birds and they needed something to cover up the birds for the film mm. so I've heard, I don't know if it's true or not so that hence, that that's sense. where the porgs came in well they're cute anyway Okay, dear. And we pick this up. I don't know if you can read it because it does look like it's backwards. Pick this up at uh, England in Epcot. It says just a flesh wound, nineteen seventy five. And it's Monty Python, an early growl, just a flesh wound. Mm -hmm. When they are talking to the knights that say, Nee! Don't do that when I get tea in my mouth. This is blood a flesh wound. Okay, I picked this up, and I actually didn't tell you about it at the time, but I picked this up, and it's a luggage tag from Haunted Mansion. We were looking at lots of Haunted Mansion things and not sure what we were going to buy and I very spur of the moment picked up this tag and it was $13. For a <laughs> why, is, why do we do that? Why do we go to Disney World and spend ridiculous amounts of money on something just because it says... We could pick it up for a couple like, of dollars somewhere else. Follow you home. I had to buy it though. <laughs> And I have no self-control at Disney. Speaking of... Oh, it's a uh, cooling towel mm -hmm. from Disney. Mm -hmm. And it's just a towel mm -hmm. and that cost $18 yep. out of Disney. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we were in Disney. And we were hot. Oh, I found something else in this bag. Oh, I found lots of other things in this bag. Okay, first of all, first of all, uh, we got this, which, um, ah, don't look at my chip nail polish. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without, so we got this. Aha, so this is our castaway key magnet for the fridge, because we mentioned that we collect fridge magnets, didn't we? Mm-hmm. We got that. So it is a Starlight Safari pin and we got that when we did the Starlight Safari. At Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yes. And it goes in the dark. And we got two of them. One each. And we're keeping hold of them because according to the lady they are very hard to come by. Yeah. So we're not we don't pin trade anyway, so They'll be going somewhere in our room to light up during the night and confuse us. Like several other things that we have in the room. Now we're going to have glowing eyes. Like a Shelby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I got a goodie bag here. We got... These are little tins of mints. And... These were uh, snack credits when we were using them up a little bit. Um. And they're going to be gifts for people that we brought back. And I'm sure they won't mind us sharing that information with you. These are not gifts for people, but they were also snack credits. And they are... Goofy candies. Character gummies. And that was what we had left. So, pack it for you, pack it for me. Thanks. <laughs> but while he's trying to open my CDs, I will show you my next slightly more extravagant purchase. This is my new handbag that I got. I'll open it up and show you it properly. It says Minnie Mouse on the back and it opens up. It's got a nice pattern on the inside. It's got a big zip pocket in the middle foam pocket 
inner zip pocket. And basically, a dog really thinks he's getting a gummy. Basically, this is my new handbag for work, and it was 40. Uh -huh. It was 40 dollars. But it's my new work bag, so I will get the use of it because the last one that I have, I've used it religiously for like a year and a half, two years, and it's now completely, completely done in. So this one was necessary. See, if you buy things in the Disney parks and you're staying on site, you can get things sent to your resort so you don't need to carry shopping about with you. But when you get the bags, they are very, very ripped. That's fine. Um, but when you get the bags, they're all stapled together. And then you have to rip them to get into them. So they end up looking right there. like that, trying to get into them. And that was two bags to put together. No wonder it was so hard to get into. What was in it? Show us, show us, show us. A Twilight Zone Terra Terra Cluedo board. With lights shining in it, so we can't yeah, really see it probably. And this one was forty-five dollars plus tax. Gonna have another go for candy. I might regret this later. But I have just done two weeks in Florida. Time for regrets is by. Something else we've probably got for the caravan is a pack of playing cards, but they're not oh. ordinary playing cards. They're Bubba Gump's movie trivia playing cards. And we got them in the Bubba Gump shop. Did we? City Walk in Universal. <laughs> Next. You've got a bag right in front of your feet. Alright, okay. Is there anything in there? Nope. Ooh! Right, I know what this is. This is also stapled because we did the package collect service at Universal 2. Only we didn't send it to the room because we were leaving. We sent it to the entrance. So. Lights shining on it. It's a car decal, 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 decal. Mm -hmm. car decal from Fast and Furious. I will need to put it on the car at some point. There you go. Are you sure, sure. Shelby, just show it off. And he's a shirt from Fast and Furious as well. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a really nice shirt when I first saw it. And then you look at the back. Yeah. And you think, my God, it's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is... Pinky. We did see the back in the shop and thought, yeah, it's all right. It's very... subtle. I would say the pattern on the back, but the front is very, very nice, and the front's what you're going to see the most. Yeah, well, I don't mind the bit on the back either. Well, that's helpful because you'll be wearing it. Leave the bog alone. Step away from the bog. Is that a cat or a dog? It was a binky. Oh. That's a cat. Fast and furious seat belt belt. The belt is made out of seat belt material, and it's got. A seatbelt clip, God, buckle. Evidently, we get carried away at Universal as much as Disney. By the way, we also picked up these key rings, which have got names on the back, and these are gifts. We got a couple of them. As gifts for people. And that was that bag, dumb. Yep. Dumb drum. So, I actually wanted to show you this. And this explains a lot why we knew we needed an extra case with us. This bag 
is full of souvenir cups that we brought back. So, we have this one, which turned out to be a cup with a shot glass and is also a cocktail shaker. And this one is out of Bubba Gumps. It's just not going to pick. There we go. So, it's also a shot glass. Um, there's a shot glass inside it and it's a cocktail shaker, so... I, I don't get it, but we got this because I bought a cocktail that came in it. Speaking of Bubba Gumps, we got this. Do you want it to flash? I hope we can turn it back off again. Yes. It does flash. Like this. The glass lights up. David got a non-alcoholic cocktail and it came in that glass. Disney. When you get a mail package, I'm going to call it just now because I can't remember the full name of it. <laughs> dining plan. Dining plan. You get a dining plan at Disney. When you stay on site at Disney, you get a cup each. Which comes you can buy the cups can separately. You can buy them separately, but on the meal plan, you get them free with the meal plan. And whenever you're on the Disney Resort site, you can top them up for free with any of the juices or tea or coffee. Mm -hmm. And I got the Halloween one. Because I wanted to. Because Halloween. So it's fine, it's done. And Dave went for just the blue one. Yep. But that was something else to bring home with us. And the last souvenir cups, and we could have ended up with a lot more. In fact, the first time we went, we did. We got these. Now, we have a screw. And there's a straw that goes to the lid. After you drop it on a drummer. There's also a handle, which just touches to the lid. So when you've got the straw in the cup, <laughs> there is a little hole here as well. So when you're carrying a belt, you do that with the straw and it doesn't get spilled and you can carry it. Well, unless you're on Jimmy Fallon and it spills and then it does spill. But um, these were our Coke Freestyle cups that we got. We got them during Halloween Horror Night, which is why we got the Horror Night one. But you can refill them during the day as well. Yes. And they were definitely worth having. We used them quite a lot. And I think I'm going to take mine to work, actually, to fill up with juice at work. So, I took a rucksack on holiday this time. I don't usually use a rucksack. I always carry a crossbody. It was my own fault. I thought the rucksack was cute. But by about two days in, I was scunnered with it and I wanted to carry it across body. And the only one I could find in a hurry that I liked, and I liked it at the time, it doesn't mean I like it now, but I liked it at the time, and it was this one. And it's a kind of cord material, and it was from Walmart, so it, it was only about $10, I think. And I like, I do like it. It just was not for Disney holiday, you know, it's like a at home kind of bag. So it got retired very quickly and you will see this later in the trip. Um, we went to Vera Bradley and I got a handbag. The style of bags that I like. I have, this is what my, I have another Vera Bradley bag in this um, bag style but totally different fabric and it's not an actual Disney one because they didn't have any but I still like it and I thought that the colour was pretty so this is my bag that I ended up carrying for the rest of the holiday We also picked up one of these It's called an Incredibuild and it's wooden pieces You may have seen around some of the parks some of the shops in the parks you get these metal models that you put together to build well, this is the same theory, only these are wooden. These are pre-designed uh, in wooden panels that you push out the pieces in the panel and put it together yourself. It says it also comes with a book as well, and it gives you tips on how to use coloured pencils uh, and other colouring utensils 
to colour your own Millennium Falcon. There was looking at the back. There's three or four other different style of models as well, like the ATAT, R2D2, and a couple of others. This is another T-shirt that we bought. And that's what's on it. Stitch. Hello. I can see what I'm doing and I can't really. So this was the shirt that we bought as a gift uh, for my dad. Who will get it hopefully tonight and therefore before I get ready to edit in this video. Most likely. And I picked up that. I like my thermos cups. I like being able to take a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with me most places I go. So I got the thermos cups, uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge theming, plastic on the inside. Got that nice little design on it, and it seals quite well as well. The way it folds over, it's not sliding. It's one of these pop, pop ones, and they actually slide into, the, pops in, pushes into, wedges into the holes to stop any fluids coming out. Um, we also picked these ones up in Walmart, even though they are sort of Disney. And this one. Because you never know when you're going to accidentally snap your luggage tag off. And these ones were a much more reasonable $3 each out of Walmart. And they did have quite a selection. And we also picked up Madame Leota that lights up and also switches off and it's a Christmas tree ornament for when we do our Christmas tree yes. I'm ready for Christmas now I'm over Halloween and ready for Christmas do, 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 do. we also got this t-shirt as another gift yeah and if you can't see what it says because I'm not sure if it will come out right it's the SV Ministry of Silly Walks so we bought some random useful things as well. We picked these plates up because they were cute and because we were having snacks in the room and things that involved plates. Now, these were at Publix actually. They were $2 each from Publix. They're very handy and they'll probably end up in the caravan. Caravan. And uh, <laughs> again, useful and like to use them at home is some laundry sheets for the tumble dryer, dryer sheets, yeah. um, there's also pods but I'm not entirely sure where we put them uh, the same make as this we use them for doing laundry when we're in Florida bring the stuff home and then use them for like our sheets and towels and then things still smell like Florida when we get home yes. and I really think... don't ask me why I saw them and I wanted them and, and I had to buy a pack of Ziploc bags in Florida I had to squish them to get them in the case. Um, these ones have got Star Wars designs on them. The thing is though, you probably could have got a similar thing here. Well, <laughs> probably not, because I have looked. So this is the one of the designs that has a little stormtrooper and he's shooting so it looks like you've got moldy bread. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm childish. I actually wanted the Mickey and Minnie ones but I couldn't see them and I wasn't getting allowed any more time in Walmart so I just grabbed these because this is what I found. You'd had enough of Walmart by that point. And we had things to do as well so. So that was our useful things and we have got one more bag to do. And I will let you do the first thing. Mine. Because it was yours. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Mine. 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 He's really cute. He's got a nice little tail. I like his tail. But he has a fish and the fish all say mine. On them. Mine. 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 And this one was twenty dollars. And we got it from the Nemo Ride shop. And in funnily enough, as we were at the counter waiting, we we got the we got the last ride on the right. We got it. We got the last ride on the of the day, on Finding Nemo. 
that was brought out of the shop from the ride and as we were we were the last people out and as we were well we couldn't have been the last people out because as we were at the till paying for it somebody walked out behind us going mate 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 <laughs> We do. And now I saw these earlier in the trip and there was dozens of them. There was lots of them and when we went, it was our last night in Epcot we bought that and I saw this one and it was the last one in the shop. But I had to have it because I love him and he's marvellous. He's my new friend. His name is Hank. You may have met him before. He's been in some films. He's really cool. And I am aware that a certain other couple has this. <coughs> Mark and Jim. And I've been lusting after it for quite a while. So now we have it too. It's my Hank. Like I said, he was the last one in the shop. So now we have him. Except the cats like to stay behind the couch so they'll fall down and end up on the floor. Well, I think that was all we bought. Uh, it doesn't feel like it. It felt like we bought way more than that, but here it has taken us about an hour to tell you all. Yes. Maybe less than editing. Hopefully I'll cut it down a bit. It maybe feels like we bought a lot more because some of the stuff we bought was edible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry know what you're talking about. Um, I can show you. Hold. He was making noise. These have already gone, but I love Nara bars. Tangent. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. That's what we bought on our holidays. I think we should go back and buy some more. There was definitely Tomorrow. a t-shirt I didn't get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our whole video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Mine. <laughs>